we all know by now that the Cheeto Mussolini is a shitty president. Hi, this is Deborah, also known as Doobage42. Welcome back to my take. Today's my take is on the latest string of really craptacular things that our Cheeto in chief has done. First and foremost, his pardoning of Sheriff Joe, Joe Arpaio, the sheriff of Maricopa County for so many years in Arizona. I don't live in Arizona. I've never actually been to Arizona, not yet, coming soon. But I have known about this zit on the asshole of humanity for a long time. I've read stories about him. Now at first, the stuff that I heard was kind of mild. Uh, he made his inmates wear pink uniforms and painted their cells pink. That's what I heard at first. I was thinking, yeah, okay, that's a good thing. You know, just harmless. And also they, I've heard it said that pink is a calming color. So maybe it promotes more peace in jail, who knows? But then I started he hearing the real stories of what this scumbag was actually doing. He set his inmates up in tent cities that he referred to himself as concentration camps. Uh, where temperatures out there, they're in the freaking desert, y'all, were reaching 130, 140 degrees in the tents. Now, mind you, these are not just convicted, hardened criminals that deserve to be punished, blah, blah, blah. No. A lot of these people are people who were just picked up, you know, people that are awaiting trial, awaiting being charged sometimes, awaiting sentencing, awaiting a lot of stuff, all being punished for the sadistic pleasure of Sheriff freaking Joe. There is a story out there, credible freaking news story, the guy won a judgment against this pendejo madricón, okay? He was already paralyzed and he was in jail and he was off in a room by himself and he was trying to knock on the door and ask them to get a nurse to get him a catheter so that he could pee. Uh, if you don't know, a lot of folks who are paralyzed, not all, but a lot of folks who are paralyzed cannot urinate without a catheter of some kind. And he needed a catheter to urinate. They thought that that was grounds to tie him to a chair, strap him down, and his goons strapped him down so hard that they broke another vertebrae in his neck. After this incident, he spent almost three months in the hospital trying to recover. He was never the same afterwards, of course. That is just one of many stories of this scumbag. And now, this slimy bastard that we have in the White House has given him a pardon. Are you freaking kidding me? And Sheriff Joe wasn't just, you know, mistreating his prisoners because, well, he's a sadistic bastard. He was mistreating them because they were brown. Now understand, in Arizona, in lands out west, especially in the southwest, a lot of that land used to actually belong to Mexico. There are a lot of native people out there who are naturally brown, okay? And all of you so-called white supremacist nut jobs who think that America should just be all white all the time, y'all are stupid. And the orange one in, in charge is just as damn stupid. Now, Sheriff Joe would target people specifically on the basis of their perceived race. And I'm not talking about the human race, because we all are, maybe except for him, but where they come from. If their skin's a little brown, they're going downtown. That should have been their motto if it wasn't internally already. There are a lot of other disgusting stories about this guy, and I'll link them in the description box below. But if you've looked at Twitter, if you've looked online, if you've been awake at all, for the last 20 or 30 years, you've heard a lot of them already. And our so-called commander in chief is pardoning this sick man. And who knows, maybe he'll get a cabinet post. <sighs> 
yes, it makes me very angry. And yes, I speak out about it a lot. Other people should too. Don't just sit there with your blinders on and the covers over your head going, it'll go away, it'll go away. It's not gonna go away unless we, people with conscience, people of substance, make it go away. Stand up, be heard, and uh, embrace your fellow man. See ya.